Hello everybody, good afternoon, um, it's just gone quarter past five here in the UK, it is a Thursday evening, it is the 4th of May 2023 and we are live for the next, who knows how long, 45 minutes I normally say, but probably a little bit longer, let's be honest. Uh, today we are playing The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass on the Nintendo DS. Um, I've just walked a yoghurt down, that was my lunch that I just had at 10 past five. New record, I think. Um, yes, uh, today we are going to be heading out on the seas again. Uh, I might get a chance to finish it. I've not, I've not finished it yet. Um, uh, we're heading out on the seas again, aren't we, today? We have got a new quadrant of sea to explore. Yes, last week, or last episode, should I say, we uh, unlocked a new sea chart, which means we can now explore the southeastern sea and find out what treasures, secrets, 
general mysteries await us. So uh, that's the plan today. We're going to jump on board with Lineback and Link, of course, and um, and check it out. See what is see what is a wash, or see what is uh, a miss. I don't know. Anyway, that's the plan today. If you're watching live today, you can get involved as we uh, stream today's uh, episode, of course, and uh, let me know what you think of today's episode. Uh, tap that live chat button on the YouTube app, say hi, let us know that you're out there today, let us know what you think, and uh, I will keep my beady eye on the chat, it's right about there, um, and we'll uh, read out some messages throughout today's episode. Maybe you're, uh, maybe, maybe you're kind of playing every Zelda game under the sun at the moment in sheer anticipation for Tears of the Kingdom coming out next week. Maybe, uh, maybe you're avoiding all Zelda games just so that Tears of the Kingdom feels mighty fresh. I don't know, let me know in the chat either way. Uh, we're all counting down, aren't we? What is it? Eight days now? <laughs> Exciting. Uh, of course, if you're watching live, you can uh, tap that thumbs up as well to uh, give this particular video a like. In fact, actually, you don't need to. You don't need to be watching live to do that. You can do that whenever you want. Uh, and of course, get subscribed to the channel for more like this popping up into your YouTube feeds each and every day. Uh, and if you turn on your notifications, you get a little pop-up reminder popping up like that. Yes. Uh, hey, right, sorry, I'm here. <laughs> the sniffles have hit already. I haven't, I've just realised I've not taken an antihistamine today, so allergy central. Uh, let's get into it, shall we? Let's dive in! Pardon the pun, because of the sea and stuff, although you can't swim in this game, can you? No. It's, uh, it's uh, an unforgiving thing to do in this game. Don't do it, folks, don't do it. Uh, here we are. Uh... We are next door to Lineback here. So last day, yeah, last episode we dived deeper and or delved deeper into the temple, deeper than we've ever been before. I guess so. Oh, my cables hanging out. Sorry. I might start pushing these streams back a bit because <laughs> I'm in the right rush. Uh, here I am. Hi. Uh, we yes, we dive deeper into the temple of the Ocean King. We found ourselves another sea chart and that has unlocked this area of the sea. So what can we see? Well there looks to be two rather larger islands doesn't there? So uh, I think it makes sense to kind of head towards those today doesn't it? Let's um, let's jump on board using the Apple Pencil again today. Thanks to uh, find that. Uh, were we able to find the sea chart? Well lined back. Were we? Uh, perfect. I'll bet somewhere among these islands are the pure metals we seek. Of course, because that's what we're after now. Uh, let's take to the waves. Go. Climb aboard the open sea calls. Uh, hey, Taz, anyway, sorry. Uh, oh, God, I forgot that I'd scrolled all over these maps. Right, uh, this is easy. We just go to the southeastern sea. Ahoy. And we're off. Uh, I'm just going to suss out see if there's any uh, weird and wonderful collectibles on the way. Or seagulls. Fire. No. Don't want the RSPB getting on me, do I? Do they, does the RSPB cover Hyrule? I don't know. Uh, right, Southeastern Sea. So we've got down here Goron Island and Isle of Frost. I mean, Goron Island is literally right in front of us, so surely we're supposed to go there. Is it shaped like a little Goron? I think it is. Like a little Goron's head. Oh, oh god, there's pirate ships. Oh. Oh. No, you don't. Stay away, you... Ah! I'm taking a hit. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Sleep at the wheel. No. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm trying to get rid of them, but they're just... They're too fast! Oh my god, we're taking on... <laughs> we're on fire! And not in a good sense. Uh, hopefully we get an opportunity to uh, repair. <laughs> I don't know when we do that in game. It's been a while. Anyway, I spy a jetty. That's where we're heading. Oh no. 
Wow. What in the world? Oh, you're joking. Really? What in the world is this? Oh, for crying out loud. No! What? Oh, whoa, that was crazy. Who did that cyclone think it was anyway? The engine is soaked. We're stuck. Oh, hang on. Does something feel odd to you? Oh, uh, look, kid. Oh, no. Oh, God. What is that disgusting thing? I don't think we're really signed up for this, have we? Uh, at a time like this, this day couldn't get any worse. You're telling me. Uh, we need to face up to it, Link. A monster like that, who knows how to deal with it? Maybe? Oh! Fire! Fire, fire, and fire some more. As long as you keep shooting, we might just survive this. I'll man the machinery. Uh, you just aim and fire. Right. I mean, we're on one bit of health, lying back. Good luck, mate. No, we're going down. <laughs> I thought he was steering us. Have we died in this game yet? First for everything, isn't there? Uh, saving... Oh, no, no. Hang on. Uh, I don't want to quit. End the game. No, hang on. Okay, we'll pretend the last five minutes never happened. <laughs> oh, it's going so well today, isn't it? I must admit, I've had a lousy last couple of hours. I, I was trying to uh, help somebody with some tech support, and in doing so, ended up, like, not bricking, but, like, majorly... breaking, shall we say, my own computer. <laughs> I've spent the last hour trying to get it back to how it was. Ah, uh, damn it. Right. Down here. And here. Let's... I oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Stop. Stop. Can we, like, royally try and avoid these pirates? By... No. Coming down the left. No. No. Will that get us out of the way? Oh, God, no. They're off already. Oh, God, they're already hitting us. Right, that one's down. This one's got a big mighty sail on it, though. Oh, no, it's what's the name, isn't it? Oh, it's the... Uh, it's the commanding officer in this first like, order oh, you to remove them all at once. Go charge, get through them. Oh, no, it's not what's the name. It's just a... It's a hambush. Was that it? Did they actually think they had a hope against us? Ridiculous. Uh, here's a prize for you. Hang on to it. A courage gem, says the man hiding in a box. Thanks. Uh, right. Yeah, the trouble is, though, our ship is, like, like really badly damaged. <laughs> and are they still there? Oh, God, they are as well. I'm not holding up much hope here, you know, guys. I have strong suspicion. History may be repeating itself any minute now. Oh! Oh, it's the money thing! Hang on. We might as well have a little bit of fun, haven't we? Oh no, enemy sighted. Where? Oh, damn it, now I can't play the money game. Oh god, he's gonna hit me again. I don't know how we're gonna recover from this. We're, go we're gonna go into this battle again. Which I'm certain that Limebeck said that he was gonna steer us everywhere. Yeah, yeah, same again, same again. <laughs> it's the fact we're on, like, Full on fire. Right, here comes the flying fish. Fire, fire, yes, 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 right. So, yeah, no, because I haven't got, I haven't got the ability to steer, have I? Oh, I can fire at the yellow things. 
and then that gives me health. Boom! Easy when you know, eh? Oh. Oh, he went straight through us that time. Linebacker, you seriously not doing anything here, mate? Oh my goodness. I'm just, I've seen no other reason to not just constantly tap the enemy or try and tap a little bit ahead of him so I can, like, hedge my bets on where he's going to attack. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the one steering the blooming ship. Hala flipping Luya. <laughs> How did we do that? We sent it to the bottom of the sea, Link. Well, thanks. No thanks to you, Limebeck. Useless thing. Uh, the engines had a chance to dry out. Let's set our course. Go right. Come on. Get us to the Goron Island. I'm not actually in control. I don't know, I don't know what's going on in this game. Here we are. It's that famous Goron sound. Uh, look at the map. No houses. I wonder if there is any pure metal here. Amateur. Places like this always have treasure stowed somewhere. Fine then, you supposedly have a nose for this, so we'll follow your instincts. Can't say if it's pure metal, we'll find, but whatever we scare up, it's all mine. Uh, I'm chewing on Oceus's, uh, the, 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 the ocean, the Lion King, the Ocean King's offer. <laughs> He'll grant any wish that I whip up, but what would I, uh, what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure, right? Or maybe you'd wish for three more wishes. Line back. You don't understand Link at all, do you? He's doing this for Tetra, for the Ocean King, and to bring peace to the seas. Hmm, you're sort of a good guy, Link. Wow, that was out of character for me, wasn't it? Ugh, go then. Uh, get out of my sight and fetch some of that pure metal. Uh, that was weird. Lineback must have eaten something funny. Whatever, Link. Let's go look for that pure metal. Right. Onwards. Oh, it's a Goron! You have put your foot on Goron Island, outsider. Make yourself known to all. We Gorons are proud, and we do not play with strangers. Okay. Good to know. Uh, there is a little house here, actually. It says there's no houses. Oh, it's a shop. What can we buy in the shop? <gasps> oh, it's the only store on Goron Island. Uh, and for sale, we've got bomb chews. Ten bomb chews for 50 rupees. Do we need to, like, unlock a bomb chew bag for these? I'm going to buy them. Oh, I can't say them because we don't have a bomb chew bag. I told you. We can't do that. Uh, we've got uh, this yellow liquid, which is yellow potion. Drink it to instantly restore all your hearts. Just 150 rupees. Or... We've got purple, which fills eight hearts automatically if we fall. I think that's more useful for me. Uh, I don't think we need arrows. We're good. I, I assume we're good for potions, actually. I've not had a look. Uh, items. Yeah, we've got a red and a purple, so that's fine. Let's get out there, then. We've got to go find some Gorons. One would assume they are within the mountain, maybe. Is this like a little Goron cave? Oh, it is! How unusual. We rarely see off-islanders here, outsider. Uh, you have put your foot into a Goron home, which we carve out of solid rock. We find them cosy, since they stay cool in summer and warm in winter. Good to know. That, that, that's all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the little Goron on the beach. Is he, like, kind of the... The island kind of tall representative welcoming everybody in. Have you ever heard of something called a store? We finally have one here. 
If you lose your shield, you can pick up a new one there, outsider. Ah, does that mean we've got the, um, is it the like-likes, I think they're called? That steal your, uh, shields? They used to really scare me in Ocarina of Time. They looked really dodgy. <laughs> uh, let's get some help. So, I'm guessing we're heading for that um, structure in the top left of the map. One would assume. Uh, your face is unknown to me, but I feel fine sharing words with you. And I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. All right. Uh, further, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Oh, man, right. This is going to be where it's really handy to have a stream. Because I'm assuming he's going to like say, how many rocks were in the cave here? And, and we'll be able to wind it back and say three, in theory. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just broke your prized rock. Uh, so this this could be a handy um, opportunity in this game. Oh, there's a rock there. Do you think I need to be writing these down, maybe? I'm trying to think what... Like, one there. Three in there. I don't, I don't know. Just kind of hedging my bet. Hedging my bets? Hedging? Yeah. Uh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. That's our ship. Eyes off. Uh, time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine. What? You have heard that somewhere else? Doubtful outsider. Okay. Now this guy's got one rock. So let's write one for him. Hello, your face is new to me, outsider. Have you come from the ship? My father is staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. Should we, should we tell him? Uh, it, it, it means nothing to him. No, okay. Whatever. Oh. oh it's a Goron on a switch. Uh, give a shout if you need anything. Oh. Oops. Is this another microphone puzzle? Do I have to go? Oi! You want to come over here, outsider? I will put the bridge out for you. Oh man, I hate microphone puzzles. <laughs> uh, oh, blimey. What's up here? Before we go over the bridge, let's just check out. So there's another, there's another house here. Let's just check this out first. Now he's got one, he's got one. Rather naff, number one. Uh, An outsider, have you ever heard of a wood heart? I love them so much. We Gorons eat the small wood hearts in order to grow into big Gorons. Okay. Uh, before we go over the bridge, let's just suss out this area. Anything here? There's a lot of choo-choos there. Uh, I don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There are some strange creatures on that cliff. Please make them go away. Uh, hey, I reckon... Um, uh, not that button. Which button do I want? Items. Shovel. Uh, I can go up here. What's this? Oh, arrows, of course. Right, and then I can probably shoot it with my arrow. Oh, I tell you what. Bow and arrow is very satisfying in this game. Thank you, outsider. I am relieved that those strange creatures are gone. You are a good stranger, outsider, so please accept this token of my thanks. It's a treasure map, of course. X marks the spot. Oh, you're welcome, mate. You're welcome. I'll ignore those rupees because I can't really get to them. Right, um, I think we crossed the bridge then. Go see our Goron friend. And uh, now you can cross any time you want. No toll, of course. Thanks. I do love the Gorons. They weren't really present in uh, Wind Waker, were they? You just had like the little traveling um, Goron salespeople that just did the little fetch quest towards the end. Uh, you are an off-islander. We do not share words easily with strangers here. And so I surely cannot tell you that our elder's house is up there. So... 
Elder. <laughs> Thanks. That might come up in the quiz. Although, hang on, the Elder is the one that likes the quizzes, isn't he? Right, yeah. This is Mr. Two Rock. Not to be uh, confused with the dinosaur hunter. Uh, do we know the big Goron secret, outsider? What we call our islands golden... Uh, Goron Amber is actually... On second thought, it is too soon for you to know, outsider. Goron Amber. That's got to be the metal, right? I think. We'll see. Right, uh, this path... Looks suspicious. There also looks to be a suspicious digging spot here. There we go. 20 rupees. Thank you. Let's go see the elder then. Before we do, we'll just see his little assistant. Uh, you have entered the home of the elder Goron, the leader of our proud tribe. I'm his son, Gongoron. And we do not take kindly to off-islanders, stranger. Well. Um, right, hang on a second. Two seconds, folks. Two seconds. I swear I'm allergic to this game. <laughs> Every time we play this, I seem to be really sniffly. I am Big Goron, elder of this island. So it is pure metal that you seek, outsider. Uh, that is a potent Goron symbol. I will speak of it no further to an outsider. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. Gorons are always really miffed at you when you first find them, aren't they? Like, in Ocarina of Time, Darunia won't, like, say hi to you until you play him Saria's song. Um... Twilight Princess, they're always attacking you. Uh, yeah, maybe more recent games are a bit of an exception, but yeah. Um, make yourself known to each and every Goron, and then we'll speak again. I, I'm pretty sure we have. Have you made yourself known to each and every Goron? I'm pretty sure I have. It appears not, so I'm not yet convinced that you want to join our tribe. Right, hang on then. Uh, where have I not been? Uh, this kind of area down here, actually. I don't think I've been over here yet. Have I? Is the one over here? Oh, this dude, the blocker. Hey, little stranger, you are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe can go through here. I think that does it. We spoke to everyone on the island. There you go. I knew we were close. Nothing down here, no. I'd, I'd love to know how he knows that we've spoken to everybody or not. Just psychic. Uh, yes, we have met everyone in the tribe. I can sense your burning desire to rank among the Gorons, outsider. But does your desire to become a Goron burn to your very core? Let me probe you... <laughs> Sorry. Let me probe into the matter with a game of questions. Care to take the initiation test? Only 20 rupees? What? Oh, sure then. Uh, right, let me explain the rules. I will ask you six questions and give you a prize for each correct answer, but get just one wrong and I will take everything back. I will also grant you one Goro hint that eliminates one of the wrong answers. Oh my god, this is like the Chris Tarrant or the Jeremy Clarkson of the Goron tribe. Uh, you will understand best if you simply try it. Right, first question, here we go. The Goron at this spot... What is he staring at? That's the ship, right? Are you staring at our ship? C correct. Oh, we got a rupee. Oh, we might earn our money back here. Uh, well done. Next question. How many Gorons live on this island? Oh, man, no. Oh. Right. Uh, can I get to the map still? So there was one here. Was there a house there? With one in? That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eleven. Twelve. 
I think that's right. There was a house there, wasn't there, that didn't have any rocks in. That was before we started counting rocks. So, the meet and greeter. One, two... Three... Four. The shop wasn't a Goron, was it? So that's right. He was the ship starer. Five... Six is the choo-choo guy. Seven... Eight, nine for the two in the room that we're in. Ten for that one. Eleven for that one. And twelve for the guy that did the bridge for us. I th I'm pretty sure it's twelve. No! Ah, gutted! I'm taking back what you won. <laughs> Please try again after you've taken note of all the details about Goron life. Oh, man. I, I, I need to suss this out. Who did I miss? Because I'm presumably going to get the same question. So one... He, this definitely had a gore on him, right? Two. Three. Oh, I think I missed him. Hang on. Let's, let's draw him on the map. Oh, put him on the map. Yeah, we had him. This was the choo-choo one. Oh! Yeah, no, I counted that. I think I counted that, didn't I? Yeah. Maths has never been my strong point. No, I tell a lie. I'm normally quite good at maths. Um, yeah, I've counted him. I just moved him along a bit. That's a rock. Not a Goron. Did I? Yeah, I had this one. He, you're on the list. And there wasn't one up there. That was just some hearts. Oh, I didn't have this dude either. So hang on, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That'd be fourteen. And fourteen was the upper option. So it's got to be. It's got to be fourteen, I think. Double check. There was definitely one in here, right? Yes, fourteen. Fourteen. Final answer. Now watch was never, never get asked that question again. <laughs> uh, this way, over the bridge, oh, or in the water. <laughs> da, da, da. I wonder if uh, every time I go here, <laughs> we might need all these rupees to replenish what we've lost. Right, we're back again. Oh, 20 rupees again. Right, okay. So, first question. The Goron at this spot, was he staring at the ship? It's going to be the same questions. Lovely. Next question. How many homes are there on the island? Oh, damn, it's a different question. It's a different question. Ah! Uh, let's work this out then. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> yeah. That's one, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, and then the one that I'm in. Six. Six. Yes, correct. Oh, man. I've never known such jeopardy. Next question. How many Gorons live on this island? Oh, that's the one we just did. 14. <laughs> Correct. Thank you. Right. I think we're halfway there. Come on. We've got our stake back anyway. Oh, but oh, no, he takes it back, doesn't he, if you fail. Uh, remaining three. Here we go. What colour were the odd creatures on the lift? They were yellow. Yellow choo-choos because they were electric. Suspense. Yeah, you're correct. Right, hang on. I'm going to do suspense now. I need to blow my nose again. I don't think antihistamines kick in, like, after 30 seconds, but I've taken antihistamine. Just in case. Oh, lovely, right. 
Another 20 rupees. Right, this is question five of six. How many Gorons are in their homes right now? Oh, man. No, we know this. We know this. Uh, well, two of them are up here, where we are now. Three. I'm sure every home had a Goron in it, didn't it? So, how many homes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because there's two in this one at the moment. I think it's seven. Do I play my hint? I don't think... No, there wasn't an empty home. Seven. Yes! Oh my god. Right, we can play our hint on the last one. 100 rupees. Lovely. Right, I can barely tell you from a Goron stranger. So close, so close. Final question, and we will officially become a member of the Gorons. What is on this spot? I think it's a rock, but I'm going to go 50-50. I will eliminate one of the two wrong answers. What is on this spot? A rock or a chest? So... I mean, this shows how rubbish my actual drawing is. There is a rock, but I thought the rock was a little bit more up there. Thing is, though, right? It can't be a chest, because there's no means of getting up there. And they wouldn't put a chest that you can never open. They would put a rock, though. So I'm going to say rock. <laughs> is that your ultimate answer? Almost Goron. Yes, it is. You're joking! It was a chest! Why was it? Why is there a chest there? Well, I mean, he's gonna ask the same questions, isn't he? Hopefully, I can remember my answers. So. Oh, God. Crying out loud. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yes, six homes, but seven people in the homes. That was right. Next question. <laughs> the Goron at this spot is staring at the ship. Uh, there are 14 Gorons on the island. No suspense that time. And next. Oh, oh no, it's a different question. What question is this? I've totally lost track. <laughs> I've just lost track because I've just been looking at something else. Uh, is it question four? We had the, the ship. Got, yeah, it's question four. <laughs> Two questions in a row. Right, here we go. Question five. How many Gorons are outside right now? Well, there are seven inside, and there are seven homes. No, seven inside, and there are 14 Gorons, so there must be seven outside. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yes. This is intense. Uh, final question, here we go. What is on this spot? It's got to be a chest, right? <laughs> is that my ultimate answer? It's got to be. It wasn't a rock and tree was taken away. Yes! <laughs> Goodness me. 
Uh, congratulations, you are now an official brother of our proud Goron tribe. Hurrah! And so it shall know, and forever be, that we shall call you Goro Link. I also reward you deep knowledge with this. It's a wisdom gem, of course, because we're full of wisdom, folks. Absolutely chocker full of it. Uh, store it on the collection screen. Lovely, right? Thanks. Ugh. Ahem. And now, because you are an official member, I need to collect the official dues. Just a one-time payment of 146 rupees. That's all the money that he just gave us! Do I refuse? I dead? If I refuse, you might, like, kick us out again. No, okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're now a brother of the Goron tribe, in good standing. Enjoy your proud Goron life on our island. Thanks. Uh, how about that pure metal, then? Oh yes, I'm growing forgetful in my old age. I know the feeling. Uh, the pure metal is now in our temple. I put it there for safekeeping. You're now one of us, so you are free to take it, Goro Link. And little Gongor on there will show you to the temple. Come on then, mate. Uh, we will never recognise you as a true brother of the Goron tribe, stranger. Do you really want our pure metal? Then just try to keep up with me. What cheek! Uh, where that Goron kid get so fast? Uh, we really need to find him. I mean, he's clearly going to have gone this way, isn't he? But first, let's just... Uh... Oh, nothing. Great. Uh, it's going to be this way, right? Hello? Uh, Goron Link, looks like you're now an official Goron. What? Gong Goron? No, I cannot say that I have seen him, brother. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> it's a game of hide and seek. Um... Uh, do you know where he is? I welcome you as a member of our tribe with open arms, Gorolink. What? Gongoron? I saw him run to the west side of the island, brother. I bet I know where he is. I bet he's on that, um... That little rocky outcrop that had some pots on before. Let us venture that way. Oh! Oh, he's there, look! Catch me if you can, never Goron! Where is he? Oh, in fact, actually, where's that chest? <laughs> How do I get to that chest? It's a lie. Uh, so you're now an official brother now. Welcome, Goron Link. What? Has Gong Goron gone through here? Sorry, I was focused on the ship. Of course you were. You're not Gongoran, are you? No. Uh, I saw Gongoran go over there. Oh, he's gone back up to the doorway thing with the big blocky Goron. Bum, bum. Here he is. Over here, not Goron. Come this way. Cheers, mate. <laughs> uh, right, where's that troublemaker? Oh. dead end, but Gongoron just ran down this way. Well, looks looks to me like we might be able to bomb our way through here. Uh, we've got bombs, haven't we? I don't know which way we're supposed to go. Oh. But let's block, unblock both. Uh, this way. Oh, you swine. No! I'm trying to, I'm pressing down the thing. Uh, I think we need a bomb chew for that, you know. <gasps> uh, am I supposed to throw a bomb at him, I think? Yes. Uh, is this a dead end? go up this way and then along this way ouch uh how do we get to that We 
Which is the uh, Zelda game where when you pick up bomb flowers, you can put them in your bomb bag. I quite like that mechanic. No. Uh. Have the, yeah, the spikes are still down. Okay. Oh, hang on, dead end. Well, it's a big green rupee at least. We'll take that. Um. How do I get through here? I do not know. Um. Well, it's got to be something to do with that little, um... This bit here, isn't it? Well, we can't get through there, though, can we? I can't... I can't get the, uh, boomerang through there, can I? No. I think, I think that's bomb chew territory, you know. Um, how do we get through here? Why don't we, uh, why don't we just venture back to the island and just tell, tell, tell everybody that Gongoran's being a bit of a spoiled brat. Uh, now that you're a Goron brother, you can go right in. Goro Link, what? Uh, if you seek the little Goron, he, Gongoran, he has gone up to the temple. Right, I know, but, you see, I feel we need the bomb chews. You got anything to add? Uh, already playing hide and seek with Gongoron. Go find my son quickly, brother. Right, here's an idea then. I'm assuming he's gone to the temple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that little outcrop on the far west of the island. Because I reckon we see him there, maybe. So, down here. See him? No. Oh, I thought we might like see him off in the distance. I can't jump that, can I? Do I try? <laughs> Fail. Um. Oh well, that blows that theory out of the water. Hmm. I mean, it's something. To, it's something to do with the bomb tubes, surely. But she ain't gonna sell me them, is she? Unless I ask really nicely. <laughs> no, I can't sell them. You don't have a bomb tube bag. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's, um... Talk to all the Gorons. Uh, you lost Gongoron. I think I saw him at the store. What? At the st at the store. What's, what's he doing in the store? He wasn't here before. Uh, welcome to the only store on Goron Island. Uh, sorry, hang on. <laughs> Someone's having me on here. Who was the guy that said he was at the store? This one. I think I saw him at the store. He's not at the store! Unless he's talking of... You're not Gongoran, are you? No. I saw him head east. Oh god, everybody's telling me something different. Um... You're all a bunch of liars. What have you got to say? Uh, I hear one of us now, Goralink. So, did that hint I give you... Uh, put you on a helpful path. I hoped it would. I can't remember what you said. But yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, you know one of us. Ship will likely stay too. Ugh, I can see it already. Okay, right. That's not helping me in the Goron situation though, mate. Uh, have you seen him? You're officially a brother now. Come Goron gone through here? No. I mean, he's still watching the ship. Well, let's try... Oh, I've not tried up here, have I? Hang on. You in here? Uh, 
know, you want to be a big Goron. That's not helpful. <laughs> uh, there was one here, wasn't there? Uh, what? He got away from you? Yes, he did. Where is he? He's not up there. God, I didn't realize getting into this temple was going to be such a fuss. You haven't seen him again, have you? Oh, hang on. You saw him go over here again. Yeah, but we see, we've been there. So I'm heading east. Oh, east. No, east is the right direction. Uh, east is where we're going, isn't it? What about you? Do you know anything? Uh, and tell me you'll learn the secrets of the Gorons. No, you know nothing. Rubbish. Well, east is definitely up here then, isn't it? Uh, now that you're a Goron brother, you can go right in. If you seek the little Gongoron, he's gone to the temple. Yeah, we knew that. But then we got stuck in here, you swine. <laughs> um, I'm not missing a trick here. I can't... I can't get in here of any means, can I? I can't, like, throw a bomb in there. Oh, hang on, can you roll? No, that's a different Zelda game. You can't roll bombs in this, can you? That's uh, Skyward Sword, I think. We can't, um... We can't blow up any of these walls, because there's no cracks on them. Nor are there any cracks on these, or that. I feel, I feel I'm going to have to look this up in a second. Wandering around aimlessly. Uh, well, I mean, I'll take that. Uh, oh, hang on. Is it something to do with this weird pattern? No, but I'll take it. It's like a weird Goron tattoo. Um, I'm so lost here. So wrong. I'm, look, I'm looking it up. <laughs> Phantom Hourglass Goron Temple. Uh, Goron Island, uh, Zelda Dungeon don't know. A prime Zelda um, fount of knowledge. Uh, where are we? Where am I looking for here? So there is a nearby bomb flower with two crack walls. This whole maze requires you to use bombs or bomb flowers to blast open pathways. If you take the path to the left, it leads to an acorn that you can continuously break to fill up your bombs. Additionally, it leads to a switch that will allow us to collect a power gem. The main path is on the right, so blast away at a series of cracked walls. Well, I've kind of done that. Unless there's a cracked wall that's not obviously cracked. I mean, this... This wall here doesn't look cracked to me. I, I mean, did it look like it was cracked? It didn't, did it? I don't understand what the clue was there. How did I know? How how would I have known that that would have been cracked apart from breaking every blooming door? Oh god, the like like things here. Oh no! Can I throw a bomb in it? Yes, I can. Great. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, before we do this, actually, uh, there was a chest here, wasn't there, which I assume is going to be the one that holds the power gem. There we go. We've had one of every one so far today, haven't we? Right. Let's get in this temple. And let's get cracking. Nothing else for us to know. Oh, there's a... This is going to make a little bridge, isn't it? Uh, I wonder if that Goron kid went in here. I guess we, uh, all we can do is go inside. Sure. Let's uh, let's crack open the bridge, why don't we? Right, let's go, go, go into the Goron Temple. <gasps> hey, uh, no sign of Gongoron. Let's push further and find that kid, Link. 
Let's, okay, right, what's the sign say? Uh, stay out the quicksand. Sure, will do. Oh, it's a Beemos, great. How do we defeat a Beemos in this game? With a bone arrow, maybe? Can't remember. Or maybe a bomb. That'll do. Uh, I don't know if this is the way I should have gone, but it's the way I've chosen, so I'll stick with it. Oh, I need another bomb. I'm running out of bomb. Oh, they come back to life as well. Oh, rubbish. Uh, I've got to pull this dude, haven't we, to... Uh... Oh. Quick. Ah! <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to get hit by Beemos quite a lot today. Uh, hey, afternoon, uh, Tackle in the chat. It says hi. Hello. Oh, this one's moving. Um, do I need a bomb to defeat him? Possibly. There we go. Uh, hang on. Fire. What? Uh, welcome, Tackle, to the uh, to the stream. Pray tell, what has brought you to uh, this wonderful stream of uh, Phantom Hourglass? <laughs> I assume you're a Zelda fan. Oh. Uh, right. Do that, which has made a chest appear. But only for a short while. It's a trick. I guess we've got to chuck a uh, bomb down for that instead. Um, I'm assuming that this is pretty high up, so I'm going to have to get it from above. So let's come back to that in a second. Uh, we opened up a pathway up here, didn't we, actually? Ah, oh, you swine. Oh, no, I've got no bombs. Oh... Right, hang on. I need that dude. I need that dude, don't I? Right, I need that dude. I need to deactivate the... Um... Armos? Is this an Armos, I think? And then we can... Um... Chuck him down there. There we go. Let's pull him down. Clearly the antihistamine hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> uh, right, that's uh, revealed this bridge. Which gets us to this side. There's another one down here, isn't there? Do you think I could grab that bomb flower? Oh no, I've awoken him. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh damn it. Uh... <laughs> That's exactly what I didn't want to do. Oh, I could really do some bombs. So, am I going to have to use this one bomb? I don't know what I'm going to... What am I going to do with these, though? Is it just the fact that I've got to deactivate them, maybe? Maybe. Back, back we go again, then. Do a run up. This one isn't it. Oh, damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> run, Link, run. Oh, it doesn't... Unless he's woken up, it doesn't affect him, does it? Crikey, O'Reilly! It really would help if I had some actual bombs in my possession. There we go! I took a, I took a tumble, took a heart, but got the job done. 
Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, oh, hey. Um, wasn't the one that I had to throw down? I just, yes, it's there. I was, oh, hang on. Just repeat, repeat this again to get that chest. Uh, where is it? That there. Ta da! Da 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 da! It's another treasure map for the southeastern sea. We're getting quite a few of these at the moment. I think we'll have to do uh, a little bit of a treasure haul next episode. Right. Oh. Um. Now we want to go back the way we came. Back into this area, and then we do this bit up top. So that disables that, which essentially makes us a little loop round, so we don't have to worry about doing that anymore. Oh, it's a it's a choo-choo. A blue choo-choo. Uh, you're going to tell me about how many chests we've got left in the area. Boing, boing. Uh, one chest left. We'll find it ourselves. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got obviously open that wall up and we really do with some bombs though oh maybe there's some in here no where have all the bombs gone oh here there's always bombs in the acorn oh, I, you, I think this respawns as well maybe <gasps> oh I tell you what how many can we get ten in the bag just hang out here for a second. <laughs> one more, one more. There we go, maxed out. Uh, crack a bomb down there. I'm assuming the one remaining chest is going to be in that lower left area, so maybe we come back to that at some point in a bit. Oh, a chance for more bombs. Fabulous. Uh, surely this is a, this is going to be a job for either the boomerang or a bomb, right? Oh, no, it's a hint. It's another hint that there is another crackable wall here. I guess there was a little doorway, wasn't there? Crack that. don't need any of that. We've got it anyway. Another chance to top up on arrows this time. Okay. Uh, no need for the quicksand, so down here we go. Oh. Oh, blimey. Uh, that's you. And that's you. I don't know if that class is killing them, though. <laughs> uh, I think I need arrows for these dudes. There we go. Uh... Do I need to actually, like, properly... Oh, damn it. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna get b -mossed. This way, this way. Ah. Uh... Oh look, it's Gongoron! Goro Link, this way, brother! So that's where Gongoron was all this time. Uh, no, not really. Monsters grabbed me and threw me in here. Please, brother, please help me get out. Sure, why not? I'm a kind-hearted person. Uh, thank you, brother. I am really sorry that I ran away from you earlier. Really? Uh, we're just glad you're okay. Hang on, we'll get you out. Uh, wait, <gasps> behind you, Link. What is it? Oh, it's uh. Oh, is that like a Hinox? <laughs> I think that's a Hinox. I thought uh, Hinoxes hadn't been in the series since like uh, Link to the Past. They're in that, aren't they? And then obviously again in Breath of the Wild. Didn't realize they were in this. Uh, right, that's done. Amazing, brother. You actually defeated a monster I uh, caught. What? Thank you, brother. Now I can run freely again. Are you welcome? But it seems like we've hit a dead end on our side. You see these spikes? They're in our way. 
That will be no problem with my assistance. I can help you remove that trap. Now let me show you how to switch between me and Goro Link. Oh, we've got a companion, folks. Uh, when you want to call on me, just tap my icon on the lower screen. And then when you want to switch to Goro Link, tap the icon. Understand? Yes. Our fates are now joined, brother. If one of us falls, so will the other. Uh, leave this next part to me. Switch control from you to me. Immense. Oh my god, he can roll as well. <laughs> uh, so, there's got to be a... Um, there's got to be a switch somewhere, right? I don't know if it's... Uh, I think it's going to be under one of these, right? <laughs> it's either going to be underneath one of these boulders, or it's going to be a defeat all the enemies to get it, isn't it? And it was the latter. Oh, we've got a like like in this area, I've just spotted, so let's go forth with bow and arrow. Oh my god, there's a couple more. there's a couple of them. No you don't. Uh I guess we stand on this switch and old Goro guy. Whoa, stands on this one. Ooh, to reveal an almighty chest. Containing a bomb chew! We can now carry up to ten bomb chews in our bag. Uh, they will follow the path that you draw on your map. Uh, we've got the bomb chew bag link. Bomb chews are bombs that run along a path you draw. You can navigate a path for a bomb chew by drawing on the lower screen. Uh, they're amazingly handy. Go ahead. Try, it, uh, try one out to get the hang of it. And the path is revealed for Gongoro. Uh, I think these dudes can go across um, sand as well, which is handy. Uh, but let's switch to him for now. And uh, yes, I thought there might be some kind of creature in here. Uh, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Smack. Oh no! No! Don't go in the quicksand. Uh, that's opened up a path on our side. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we've got to get a bomb chew in there, you know? But we ain't... We ain't on this side, are we? So we ain't gonna be able to do that. I don't think we can get on this side. So, switch to Link. Uh, down here. And down here, down here. Tap, tap, tap. And another one. To reveal... A Goron Amber. This hard, valuable mineral has a bug inside of it. And that has revealed that. So, I think we now use the bomb chews through that hole to hit that switch there. So, here we go. Uh, how accurate is the drawing in this? There we go. Go! I used to uh, I used to hate these in Ocarina of Time because they just never went where you wanted them to go. <laughs> uh, we made the spikes go down. We can finally pass through. Okay. Are you doing well, way? Are you doing well, way over there, brother? Goro Link. I found a hole that I can squeeze through, brother. I will go explore and see if I can find us a way out. Uh, we must split up for a bit. See you later. Uh, wait, Gongoron, wait! Oh, he's gone. I hope that he'll be safe on his own. I guess we'll keep searching then. Maybe we'll find uh, some pure metal in here. Sure. More, uh, more bomb tubes though first. Um. I reckon if we go up here, that's going to take us to the first floor that we were in. Oh. Uh, that's a bomb chew. Oh, we can get a bomb chew in here. Right. Switch to map. <laughs> oh no, I let go of L. Don't let go of L. Note to self. Go. Now let go of L. That's going to make his little bridge shortcut. Lovely. Thought it was handy to get that in. 
Uh, down this way. B2. Oh, another one? Takes three arrows, doesn't it? I think that's a worthwhile uh, expense. Uh, that's gotta be for something, isn't it? Is that, uh, that's an enemy, isn't it? Uh, normal bomb at you. Oh, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, hang on, I didn't see, oh, I wasn't reading that, never mind. Let's, um, take care of those dudes. Right, okay, that's a thing. But maybe I need to do it with a bomb chew, not you. I don't know if there's a limit to bomb chews, like a distance limit, a time limit. Oh, right, hang on, I know what we got to do. we got to do that in conjunction with another, another one. So maybe if I do this... Set him off his, on his merry way. Damn it. What did this guy say again? Flip the two switches at the same time if you want to cross up ahead, and a bomb chew could do all the work for you while you stand around. But I can't make two bomb chews out of nothing, can I? Or is that enough to have done it? Surely it's gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, time's unfrozen, isn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. I can recall um, back to the control of Link if I just um, cancel out of it. Right, there is something else down there, but we can't get to that yet. I assume we go down here and get to that. Deeper and deeper. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a flying pot. And a chest. With a red rupee. Uh, okay, so there might be a chance for us to get the bot. Oh, hang on, there we go, look. Ah. Oh, right, yes. Um, if I put a bomb chew in here and lead him around this corner, we'll pretend he's going to go through there. Press go. All I need to do is hit this when he's done that down bit. Kaboom. Now we can go down here. Might as well see what this guy's got to say. They clearly have something to say, don't they? Oh, no treasure chest on this floor. Okay. That's worthwhile knowledge. Um, oh, it's another one of these dudes. With a switch and another one. And another one. Let me guess. Is there a fourth up here? There is. Okay, that gets us into this area. Flying pots again. Flying pots, man. Uh, that's the boss key. We need the boss key for that, or the, the big key. So I'm assuming we're going to get that up here-ish, maybe. Uh, that that will show, hopefully put a bridge across that we can get back across for. Lovely. This looks like it's going to be a battle. With more Hinox guys. <laughs> Swines. Why don't you attack each other? Oh, I'm hoping this uh, chestnut over here is for 
arrows, nice. Done. Whew. That grabs us that. Oh, I might as well grab a couple more arrows while we're here. They'll respawn in a second. Hopefully. No. Uh, let's head to this uh, north section. <laughs> Very suspect, suspicious of pots all of a sudden in this game. Uh, I think we're going to want to use... Yeah. I think we're going to want to use a bomb chew for that. Oh my god, what's this dude? Ah! It's a... Splittable choo-choo. <laughs> oh no! Ah, he's on me! The sticky chew. Uh, yes, I think... I can probably do it from here, actually, can't I? Bomb chew. Where was it? There. Go! I'm assuming that uh, bomb chews are going to play uh, an important role in that of the boss in this level. I also feel that I'm going to need them here. Um, yes, because there, there was a little there was a bomb chew acorn thing up there, wasn't there? But I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and... Uh, oh, no, it's not replenished yet. Oh, I don't need one for you. You're on land. Uh, I get the impression that these rocks are there to block me. They're not regenerating these, are they? <laughs> Another one somewhere? Oh, I've got to get right over here. Oh. Okay. Well, we've got some more Goron Amber. I wonder if um, one of these maybe I activate with uh, the bow and arrow. Yeah, I reckon so. Right, let's get some more bomb chews. Uh, which one shall I go for? I ain't got many arrows, you know, have I? Uh, oh, oh no, that one's already oh, balls cancelled. That one's already activated, so it's like it's a single time thing. No, cancel. It's not that I have to hit them both in like oh. Blinky idiot. I don't have to hit them both in like quick succession. I don't think I do anyway. Let's find out. Kaboom. There we go. That's going to be the boss key, right? Uh, stock up. I'm going to need to do that. I'm trying to think where else we've been or not been. Uh, we found the boss key. Tap close to yourself to throw it down. Of course, you've got to carry the boss key throughout the level. Where am I going? This way. Bum, bum, bum. And this way. Uh, oh. Uh, this way. And then up here. Or down here. Oh, hang on, no. Yeah, no, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, we'll come in here. I don't know if I've missed all the... I missed a chest, you know? If I have, it's probably not got anything too important in it. Uh, let's check in. Uh, boing, boing, these pillars hide no secret path. 
So waste not a single bomb, just use the stairs. I'm highly suspicious, you know. This one didn't have a pot, did it? <laughs> I can't not do this. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> the game was being truthful. I can't trust games. I have a severe lack of trust in games. Uh, more bomb shoes. I think we're stocked up on those, though, you know. Uh, step into the blue lights. Return to the temple's entrance. That's all good. Well, we don't want to go there, do we? We want to try out the boss fight. So let's equip me bomb shoes on the assumption that we need these. Ooh, that there. Oh my goodness, it's D -D Dongo Rongo, the armored lizard. <laughs> so what, we're gonna have to uh, look at that massive beast link. It's way over there on the other side of the sand pit. How about <gasps> Gongoro? Uh, let us bring down that monster together, Goro Link. I can help you trip it up from over here and then you attack it from over there. Uh, sure. What do we do with this then? Like make him dizzy or something? I'm not sure if this is a good strategy, but... <laughs> oh, you're under attack, Gor- Oh my goodness, what? Oh my god, I didn't think about that. But now he's going to be under attack. <laughs> uh, well, controlling on Goron, you must watch out for yourself too. Switch control right away when I yelp for help. Okay. Well, maybe I've just got to, like, distract him. Oh! I wonder if I've got to, like, make him charge into a wall with a bomb flower. Damn. Not there, though. Don't do it yourself, mate. Don't do it yourself. Silly idea. Uh, let's switch to Link for a second. And maybe we just try doing that. I don't know what that's going to do. Nothing at all. Great. Waste of everyone's time. <laughs> no. Oh, blimey. What? I'm pressing the wrong one. That one. Striking him from the front is useless. Watch out for a chance to use a targeted attack and tap its side repeatedly. What, his side? Like this? No! He's got in the quicksand. Oh! I get it right. Okay, okay. We've got to roll him over. Oh, oh, for crying out loud, Link's in trouble now. I hope there, um, I hope if there's, if there's any kind of ounce of companionship in uh, Tears of the Kingdom, I hope it's a little bit easier than this. This is what we've got to do, isn't it, right? Storm him. And now what? We, we hit him with a little bomb chew in the mouth? Yes, we do. Right, repeat, yes? Oh, oh crying out loud, he's in trouble now. Switch. Switch back. <laughs> oh, uh, bomb, bomb chew straight in the mouth. Go. God, this is stressful. <laughs> uh, normally it's three times and you're out in Zelda, isn't it? So let's see if that works. Damn, do I need to be thinking about health? Oh, we ate. Hey, think we're there. Don't let any of his little associate things get him. No, I think we're done. Nice. King Dongarongo. <laughs> he's a... He's a... Dunin. What? 
Uh, you defeated the monster, Goralink. The pure metal is in here. I will run ahead to get it. Sure. I don't know why I'm getting health, because we're about to get a heart piece. Oh. Oh, no, maybe we're not. Is he? Oh, no, he's coming back to life. Oh, for crying out loud. I celebrated too soon. I'm glad I grabbed that heart now. He's got an almighty bump on his uh, head now. Now it's going to be about, like, normal. Oh, normal bombs, right? Oh. <laughs> I haven't got any uh, more bombs, have I? All I've got is bomb flowers, because I used them all up in that pillar game. Unless I can somehow get a bomb chew in his mouth. No. I don't think that worked. So I'm going to stand here until he starts to blow. No. No, I'm not. I'm going to go over here. Damn it! But then he's not gonna. I, I'm getting a. Oh, hang on. Ah, we just got normal bombs. Uh, this is good news. Right, hang on. Get me to safety. Switch to bombs. There we go. Right, and now I assume I just have to tap him. Like my life depends on it. More? You want more? I'll give you more. Uh, oh, not not there though. Oh! <laughs> I had an itch on my face. It's like a 4D game when your uh, body requires a scratch during like a boss fight, isn't it? I've still got four bombs left. This might do us here. I'm having callbacks to uh, Luigi's Mansion yesterday. It was a very similar fight at the end, wasn't it? There we go. I think we're done now. I love how uh, old Gongoro's just like disappeared on us. He could have come back and helped, couldn't he? Whew. So the, uh, the boss uh, turns, like all the bosses in this game, into sand which then fills the Phantom Hourglass and gives us more time when we return to the Temple of the Ocean King. There she blows. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh, we got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass. Two minutes have been added. Very good. And within the chest. In the chest, a heart container. Let's go see our old pal Gongoro then. Here he is. Been waiting for you, Goro Link. I heard all of that terrible thrashing. Did something happen in there, brother? Uh, that nasty beast must have only passed out when you left us. But he couldn't stand up to Link. Oh no, I only left because I thought that we'd defeated it. Well, we couldn't have done it without you, Gongoro. Uh, after our battles together, I have a brand new impression of you now. Oh, it was nothing, really. Uh, and so I present to you the Goron Pure Metal, brother. There it is. Behold, the pure metal. Thanks, Gongoron. Uh, let's go grab it. Anything else in here we want? No. <laughs> we got the Crimsonine. It's one metal you need to make the sacred sword. Uh, only a sword forged of the three pure metals has the power to defeat Bellum. Uh, we did it! You got some pure metal. I guess that Limebex knives for treasure actually works sometimes. Uh, fab. 
Now that is the crimsonine that we Gorons treasure with such pride. So you've accomplished your goal, right brother? Time to head home then. Uh, hey, Gongoron, try not to get yourself good and lost again. Okay. Uh, no problem. Oh, and uh, after you leave this place, stop by my home. My father and I will be waiting for you. See you later. Sure. Uh, good kid, but he's such a pushy guy. Uh, let's head back to the chief's home. Right. Uh, there is a portal to leave here. Uh, let's take it. I am... I'm kind of tempted to just double check that we got all the chests though, you know. I know we're not strictly doing a 100% run. But while we're here, um, I just need to find the, the little boing going dude, don't I? Oh, oh blimey. Here he is. Uh, you the Chester guy? Uh, the number of chests just left here is one. I'm gonna find it though. Uh, where do we reckon? Oh, the traps have reset. <laughs> oh, it's got to be there, right? Uh, that tells us to stay at the quicksand. Oh, damn. I didn't realise the whole thing was going to, like, fully reset. Which is a bit annoying. Yeah, bitty, 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 bitty. Oh no, I'm on my last arrow. There. We can do this quickly. Oh no, I can't. Oh! Balls. Get round. Go down. Uh, some arrows would be lovely. Please, no. I'll have to go old school with the boomerang. Uh, hey, James. James is, uh, James has popped up. Hello. Still here. <laughs> oh, that's what, now that's where it is. Of course. Right. Uh, hang on then. Oh, that's easy then, isn't it? Because all I've got to do is head around here. Oh, I've got no arrows! Damn it! Uh... That's bomb. Damn, that's bomb shoes. I need some arrows. Are you arrows? No. Ha! <laughs> Where can a man get some arrows? Uh, in one of these rooms, maybe? There we go, five arrows, lovely. Uh, James says, it's always a meaty stream when I'm still streaming when he gets back from the office. I know, I, you, I, it's rare that I get the chance to do such a long stream without real repercussions, so I thought, why not? Although I've just had a, I've just had a message to say I've got to be somewhere in 15 minutes. So we'll be very quick. There we go, oh, it was worth it, wasn't it, for a red rupee. Right, that's the one that we needed. On this floor or in this room? I think it's in the floor, isn't it? So, down a floor. Excuse me. Uh, where's the Boing Going Man? Yeah. Mr. Boing Going Man, where are you? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, here he is. Uh, there are no chests left on this floor. Right, how many actually floors are there? Well, there's quite a few then. So we know the first floor's clear. And we know B1's clear, so let's go down B2. Down this away. Uh, oh god, it's a like like. Ta da! Uh, again, let's look for Boing Boing Man, and then maybe we can cut out most of the. Uh, most of the level. Uh, that's not the real Boing Going Man, is it? That's like a, a man that just says we've got to do a particular puzzle in a particular way. This is the one. No chests on this floor. Okay.
let's try on this floor then. And then, to be fair, I think the other, the remaining floors are pretty much the boss fights, so... Uh... How do we get across there? Uh, I think I have to go a different way, actually, don't I? Go back up here. Yes. Down. Yeah, down the one here, look. I think we've probably done this, to be, to be fair now, but good to get confirmation, wouldn't it? Uh, we've done that, we've done that. Here he is. Boing, going. No chests left on this floor. So, that would just leave B4, which I think is just the boss fight. Uh, we can't write on that. We can't even write on that one, which I think is a surefire sign that there probably isn't any... To do that, I shouldn't have come this way. I should have gone this way. <laughs> uh... Oh, <laughs> oops! This way and up here. I'm pretty sure that's everything got, but let's just get confirmation. Well, yes, down here. Just a pair of heart containers. A pair of hearts, even. Uh, yeah, no chance here. So, let's enter the blue light and leave! To the entrance, at least. Uh, right! We are going to park things here in one second before we go, though. Uh, obviously, next time, we have got to head to the Chief's residence. Because uh, that's what it says, so future Tom, make a note. Uh, we need to head to the chief next. Uh, before we go, though, I have just remembered that there was... Somewhere in this labyrinth, there was a little hole in the, f in the ground, I think. It was down here. Uh, like a little bomb chew hole to burrow a bomb chew. Excuse me. Here it is. My final arrow. For now, anyway. Uh, let's bomb you through here. Get my bomb you concentration face on. That has revealed a chest up in the upper right. Oh, it's a quick race, though, isn't it? Made it. And it's a treasure map. Another treasure map. This time in the southwestern sea. Ahoy. Right. Okay. That's good. Good progress today. We 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 generally have made good progress. We had a bit of a false start when we set off on our, on our voyage into the southeastern sea. But uh, we've arrived on Goron Island. We had uh, a little quiz with Chief Goron. Uh, we have now found ourselves the Crimsonine. Um, uh, one of the, the pure metals that we're after and uh, next time we will head back to go and see Chief Gore and see what he, what he wants to know I don't know he, see, he wants to speak to us though doesn't he so uh, next time we will head there in uh, episode 12 of Tom Plays The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass want to know a great fact the next time we play Zelda Phantom Hourglass we'll have already played Tears of the Kingdom hey uh, yes, we'll be back with another one in this uh, series at some point in the next kind of three or so weeks. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, thank you very much for watching today. That is it for today's episode. Of course, I am back tomorrow, though, with another stream. Assuming you're watching live, it is uh, Thursday today, the 5th of... Uh, no, the 4th of May. Um, and uh, back tomorrow. And uh, this is what we've got coming up on the channel over the course of the next week or so. Tomorrow is Friday, which means, of course, it is Free Play Friday. Uh, we'll tell you what we're going to be playing as part of that in just a second. Uh, next week. Oh, OK. Next week's a funny one. It's Bank Holiday Monday. 
because of the old coronation. So uh, no stream on Monday the 8th, but I am back on Tuesday of next week with Portal 2. We've got Rollercoaster Tycoon Classic on Wednesday afternoon at quarter past five, and next Thursday is Wario Land 2. I have taken the executive decision to not do a stream on Friday the 12th because um, I'd really like to just down tools and play Zelda. <laughs> Assuming that it arrives in time. So, no stream on the 12th of May. Um, I'm sure most people will be busy on that day anyway, for some reason. Um, but I will be back on the 15th of May with Paper Mario. I don't think we've ever looked so far into the distance. That's like 11 days away. So, those are the next five streams for me across the next 11 days. If any of those float your boat, no pun intended, having played Zelda Phantom Hourglass, uh, Get tuned in on those respective days and times. And of course, if you've enjoyed things today, why not tap that thumbs up to give this particular episode an almighty like. And hey, why not get subscribed to the channel? You'll get all of those that I've just said popping up into your YouTube feeds. And of course, um, turn on your notifications. Then you get the little pop-up reminders to pop up and remind you whenever I go live, whenever it happens to be, whether it's today, tomorrow, a week on Tuesday or whatever. Um, Get your, uh, get your notifications on, you get a little pop-up reminder to pop up and remind you whenever I go live. Right, tomorrow is Friday. And Friday on the channel means free play Friday when I'm here. Um, it's, it's the chance for us to play something a bit different on the channel, something that we don't ordinarily play uh, kind of uh, every other week or so. So uh, tomorrow... We're going to play a game that we've already played our, a little bit of, but every time we come back to play a bit more of it, the developers have crammed more content into it, so it kind of refreshes it a little bit. Uh, it always takes us about 20 minutes to figure out what we're actually doing, uh, and then the remainder of the stream, we have fun, and we discover what they've been doing to the game. So tomorrow we are going to be returning for the third time to play Sneaky Sasquatch on uh, the Apple Arcade. Uh, this is uh, a game that's uh, part of Apple. I guess this is why it kind of keeps getting updates because um, essentially it's paid for by subscription really, isn't it? So uh, Sneaky Sasquatch is tomorrow's game on Free Play Friday, our third visit to that. We haven't played it since September and I happen to notice that there has been a little bit of a meaty content update. So we'll see what that is about and do some sneaking and some Sasquatching tomorrow Friday the 5th of May 2023 at a quarter past five. Do join me then for that, if you please. Fab, right, uh, more Zelda, the uh, Phantom Hourglass. Hourglass? Hourglass? Uh, at some point in the not-so-distant future. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all the next time when I play games. Bye.